Greetings and welcome to our daily walk through the scripture for July the 10th. Your readings today find you in 1 Chronicles 11 and 12, verses 1 through 18, Acts 28, Psalm 9, 1 through 12, and Proverbs 19, 1 through 3. So in the Chronicles, we finally see that David becomes king over Israel, and we see an accounting of David. First of all, we see David take over Jerusalem, which I know you probably thought that Jerusalem was always. It wasn't, not until David. Uh, Jerusalem had been taken a few different times, but once David came in, Jerusalem became permanently a part of Israel. But then you also see an interesting list. It's known as David's Mighty Warriors. Now, there's a couple of things I want to speak on this. First of all, these are real people, okay? Uh, there are a lot of times that, that uh, historians have said, well, David's not really a real person. Well, the truth is he is, and it's actually been proven now time and time again that David was a real king. So we need to take the accounts that we find here, sometimes even how difficult they might be, they actually happened. They really did. And they show the glory of God. And God is glorified even when the exploits of these people aren't always the best thing. But we see these people and we see these people that love David. And David loves them, though David still has his shortcomings. If you look in verse 41 of First Chronicles 11, you see an interesting name, Uriah the Hittite. Yes, that same Uriah, the same Uriah that uh, was the wife of Bathsheba, that Uriah. Even he loved David. And David, in spite of all of his love for God, made mistakes. So we can look at this and we can kind of be encouraged by that because we don't have to be perfect. These were real people with real mistakes that make real problems. We do the same thing. When we look at these exploits and we read the Chronicles and we start reading about the kings, find yourself in them. See how you have done the same things. See how you have um, fallen short, but know that God loves you. All right, we're going to jump now to Acts chapter 28, the last chapter in Acts. And we see Paul has landed on the island of Malta, and we see the crazy encounter with the snake. Now, some people might say, oh, that wasn't even a poisonous snake. Okay, the natives to the island, do you think that they would recognize a poisonous snake? Yes or no? Well, the answer is yes, they would. So they knew instantly when Paul was bitten that he was a dead man. Well, <laughs> unbeknownst to them, they didn't realize who Paul served. And so Paul had once again an opportunity to go and to glorify God through his actions. And he was able to minister and God showed him favor even in the difficult times. God does the same for us. When we're willing to glorify him, God shows us favor, even in our own shortcomings. Even when we're like David and we fall short, God will continue to use us and God continues to use us when we're willing, in spite of our shortcomings. In our weakness, he is able to be glorified and he is stronger. So then we see Paul finally gets under Roman guard. Paul finally gets to go and he gets to stand before Caesar and he gets to try to persuade him about Jesus, as it says. And it says for two whole years, Paul stayed there in his own rented house and welcomed all who came to see him. And he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ with boldness and without hindrance. That's my prayer for us today. That we would do the same thing, that we would proclaim the kingdom of God, that we would teach about the Lord Jesus Christ with boldness and without hindrance. Hopefully you're blessed today. Hopefully you do the same thing. Glorify God. Make God look good. Not that he needs it. We're the ones that really need it. Well, let's do it all for his glory. Have a blessed one. We'll talk next time.